Welcome to my channel, detailing events throughout the decades. 2001. The Shoe Bomber. It was December 22, 2001 when American Airlines Flight 63 was flying from Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris to Miami International Airport. On board were 197 passengers and crew. American Airlines Flight 63 was flying over the Atlantic Ocean at the time, when one of the passengers, Richard Reed, an Islamic fundamentalist from the United Kingdom, and a self-proclaimed Al-Qaeda operative, had on him, a pair of shoes which had been packed with explosives. While on board the flight, passengers informed the flight crew that they could smell smoke. Flight attendant Hermes Mutardia, walked the aisles trying to discover the source of the smell. She found passenger Richard Reed near to the window trying to light a match. She quickly informed him that smoking was not allowed on the aircraft. Unaware at this stage what he was really trying to do. However, just a few minutes later, the flight attendant found Reed leaning over his seat, where she asked him what he was doing. At this, Reed grabbed her, revealing the shoe on his lap which had a fuse leading into it, and lit the match. However, he was unable to detonate the bomb, as perspiration from his feet had dampened the bomb, preventing it from igniting. A struggle ensued, and the flight attendant was pushed to the floor where she yelled for help. Christina Jones, another flight attendant rushed over to see what was going on, and tried to subdue Reed, but in the struggle, Reed bit her. Reed was eventually apprehended by passengers, and immobilized using plastic handcuffs, seat belt extensions, and headphone cords. Luckily, there was a doctor on board the aircraft at the time, and they administered diazepam which was found in the flight kit on board. The pilot quickly announced that the flight would be diverting to Logan International Airport in Boston. At this point, many of the passengers were still unaware of what had just happened. Two F-15 fighter jets escort American Airlines Flight 63 to Logan Airport, where the aircraft was parked in the middle of the runway. Reed was quickly arrested, and the passengers ferried into the main terminal of the airport. 280 grams of plastic explosives were hidden in the hollowed solace of Reed's shoes. This had been enough to blow a very substantial hole in the aircraft. Richard Reed was convicted and sentenced to three life terms plus 110 years in prison without parole. He is currently at a supermax prison. Shoe Bomber, Richard Reed showed no remorse for his failed terror plot. After the incident, security procedures at U.S. airports were changed, to include people removing their shoes before going through the scanners. Thank you for watching and learning about these events through history. Please subscribe to my channel to view other events throughout the decades.